hello guys welcome to this new video and we are going to talk about or basically review what DTP is okay so we're going to configure each um, DTP mode so you guys can see how DTP works okay so as you can see right here DTP is a dynamic trunk trunking protocol and it's used to ne negotiate forming of a trunk between two switches two Cisco devices Okay, so DTP causes increased traffic and is always enabled by default, but it can be disabled. All right, so if we go ahead and take a look at this, let's go to switch one. And if we do, let's go enable and show interfaces, um, switch board. And from here, we can give it a C, this interface right here. Um, let's see interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port and this show command um, will give you so the show interfaces fast Ethernet and then the switch port will give you everything you need to know and as you can see right here the default um, administrator mode is dynamic auto and the operation mode is always down and the encapsulation which is really key is using that Q that one and this trunking encapsulation is a native VLAN so it is in the VLAN number one right now and it also gives you a lot of more information that you could find here as you can see it is on VLAN one right which is a native mode and it is the native native VLAN okay so the default mode as i told you right here is dynamic auto and what is dynamic auto well dynamic auto makes the interface able to convert the link to a trunk link so that means is that if switch one is set to dynamic auto and switch two is set to trunk is going to form a trunk so let's go ahead to switch to and let's configure an interface to use so com config t first of all let's leave it like that and let's see what happens when you plug in switch one and switch two on fast ethernet zero slash one so both are set to dynamic auto and what this means is if this one is set to dynamic auto and this one is set also to dynamic auto um, it's not going to form it's not going to convert a trunk link to convert a trunk link at least one interface needs to be dynamic desirable or or trunk if both are set to auto they won't form a trunk link and we can see this right here if we go to show um, interfaces fast Ethernet series slash one switchboard, you can see right here that the operational mode is a static access right now. But if we go right here and we change this to switchboard, let's go interface switchboard mode um, dynamic desirable. What is going to happen is that is going to form a trunk link. If we go fast forward and if we go over here again, remember that before I set switch two to dynamic desirable, it was set to dynamic auto and it was um, the mode, the operational mode, it was static access. But now if we take a look at it, it should be a trunk. As you can see right here, the operational mode is a trunk link let's go and do it over here show interfaces fast Ethernet zero slash one switch board and this one is also set to trunk but the administrative mode is dynamic desirable and for this one is dynamic auto if we go ahead and send this one back to 
dynamic auto is going to go back to an access port. Let's see, mode dynamic auto. Let's fast forward and let's take a look at this. So you can see right here, it's dynamic auto. And I went back to being a static access, right? We fast forward again. And if we go end it and go back to the switchboard on this side, since it was set back to dynamic auto, it created an static access. Okay, so let's set this one config G interface was dinner one switchboard mode dynamic desirable now it is going to form a trunk link again and that's because here we go dynamic desirable and the operational mode is now a trunk so it has form a trunk because this one is dynamic desirable and this one is set to dynamic auto so at least one of them needs to be set to dynamic auto and dynamic desirable to form a trunk. If you have both set to dynamic auto, what's going to happen is that it's not going to form a trunk link. It's going to stay as a static axis. Okay, but let's take a look if we set up both of them to dynamic desirable. So let's set switch two to dynamic desirable. And what's going to happen is it's going to stay a trunk link. Um, dynamic desirable okay let's fast forward and now let's go ahead and do a switch um, show interfaces for SCDN01 switch board you can see this one is dynamic desirable and it is a trunk let's go back here and this one is dynamic desirable as well and it is a trunk link so if we have both set to dynamic desirable it's going to create a link but if it is set to auto and auto it won't form a link so auto needs to be combined with at least desirable and trunk and if we go let's go back to this interface config t interface if we switch this to trunk so this one is a trunk switch two is a trunk and switch one is a dynamic uh, desirable is still going to stay as a trunk there we go dynamic desirable and this one is a trunk let's take a look at this one this one is set to trunk and it is a trunk so if we combine dynamic desirable with a trunk we create a trunk and if we have dynamic desirable and dynamic desirable we also form a trunk link if we have dynamic auto and dynamic auto it won't form a link but if we have dynamic trunk, I mean, if we have trunk and trunk, it also going to form a trunk link. So let's go ahead and configure that here. Config T interface for CDN01, switch board, mode trunk. As you can see right here, the administrative mode is trunk and the mode is trunk here. And this one over here is also trunking. The administrative administrative mode is trunking, and the operational mode is trunk. So the administrative mode is actually the one that you um, configure, as you can see. Oh, and the operational mode is the one that creates it, or the one that is operating. Okay. So what we saw is that if we create a trunk and trunk it forms a trunk if we do dynamic desirable and dynamic dynamic desirable also forms a trunk link if we do a trunk and dynamic desirable it forms a also a trunk if we have dynamic auto and desirable it forms a trunk and if we have auto and trunk it also forms a trunk link okay but if we switch one of them to axis let's go ahead and interface uh config t interface if we make this a axis, it's not going to be a, a trunk link. It's actually going to be a 
can see over here axis and so this one is a static axis and it's operating as a static axis switch two switch one it's operating under a trunk the admin is a trunk and the operational mode is also a trunk so what's going to happen is we won't be able to communicate with each other because this one is being an axis and this one is being a trunk okay so that's not going to work so let's go ahead and change that again to switchboard mode um, dynamic desirable okay so dynamic desirable and trunk is going to form a trunk link okay guys and let's see and when, when we were reading this it was saying that by default DTP is enabled but you can disable it and the way you disable this is by issuing a switchboard no negotiate okay which prevents the interface from generating the DTP frames so if we go over here config T interface fast one switchboard mode or switchboard let me see trunk not hmm see if I remember switchboard mode and we set it as non-negotiate non-negotiate negotiate it's actually not letting me do that so let's go ahead and come what we need to do is switch board mode dynamic desirable and then set it to switch board it's not letting me not negotiate. It's not letting me do that. What if we configure this one as an axis? And then let's do this one as an axis again. Okay, so it's not letting me um, configure the not negotiate. What if we shut it down still not letting me do that okay so I guess there has to be like a bug or something on package tracer but if we set the switch port to not negotiate what is going to happen is it's going to prevent the interface from generating GTP frames so if GTP frames are not being sent from switch to switch we are not going to um, form a trunk link okay so this is all for this video and if you guys enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the like button also go to my website where I have a lot more um, packet tracer activities like this one and also follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one